Hello, my name is Shaya Sittaya Bawon. I'm from Thailand. Today, I would like to show you how to write a QT code um, to connect serial port RS232. Okay, first of all, I would like to explain you how this workshop works first. Um, now you will see the QT application. Okay, this is an application uh, written by QT. And when I click the send to TX, this will force my library pi to send some data to the serial port to show in another computer okay i will click it now and you will see some data is sorry not this button i will send this and you will see some data is come is show okay on this monitor okay i will zoom out and you will see how what i do let me open okay and when i click this the data is show on another computer and when i send some data from this computer for example f f f and enter the data is show on my library pi okay now i will explain you how i connect uh, the serial port okay in hardware uh, I using um, TTL serial port adapter, okay, uh, to connect between Raspberry Pi and my uh, computer mm -hmm, via uh, USB Type C. Um, in order to connect, uh, you will see uh, I using four lines: first five volt ground TXRX, okay. For five volt, okay, you connect to the uh, pin four or Raspberry Pi okay which have five volt also and ground to ground okay for pin RX TX uh, on adapter have to connect crossing to the Raspberry Pi for example RX have to connect to TX on Raspberry Pi and TX on adapter have to connect to the RX or Raspberry Pi as well okay okay that is how to connect and now i will show you how to write a code okay now let's continue um how to write a code um to create a qt application that can connect the serial port rs 2 g through okay here is the original project okay uh, and now i will create another another new project okay select the application qt widget application and i will name it qt serial port demo okay before we will uh, write a code uh, you have to make sure that your serial port on library pi is ready um, in order to check you have to select this menu and go to preference and library pi configuration uh, select um interface tab and uh, let's check the serial port this option make sure that this option is enabled okay if not you have to click this one and click ok and reboot your uh, raspberry pi okay and next um you have to make sure that you already install uh, the serial port uh, library uh, for qt okay when you write a code to connect serial port uh, on Qt, you have to add a library like this and go to file and save. Okay, I uh, mean, uh, why it's saving okay, your library or it adding your library? If you see some message, it's like uh, uh, it's not found this library, um, it's possible that you, not, uh, you have not yet installed this library. Uh, if in this case you have to tie this command okay you have to tie this command in order to install your uh, serial port library for qt okay let's try to uh, tie this command okay you can tie this command into your terminal and enter okay but in my case i already installed it so there is no problem now i will um add some user interface like a push button and a level for showing the uh, input data 
Okay, I will use the horizontal layout mm -hmm. like this. Okay, I will add some um, slot uh, into this button. Okay, to connect the click signal. Now I will go back to the header and add some slot, add more slot for um, receiving uh, for um, for showing the uh, receive data. Okay, and next I copy this one and press it here. Okay. Now I have two slots. Okay, first one for sending data to TX, and this one for receive the data that sent from another machine another computer is rx okay uh, okay now i have to add some uh, i have to add some input okay in order to use the uh, serial library Yes, QT pot. Has it here? And next, I have to declare a Q serial pot library. I recommend you to uh, declare in the pointer. Okay. And next, I will have to copy this code. Okay. This code is contained. Um, <coughs> The code that um, used for uh, specify the port name, the bowlet, and some um, general configuration. Okay, uh, actually, um, you 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 have to change uh, for this, uh, for for these two option, uh, for port name and bowlet only. Okay, for the other option like uh, uh, bit data, uh, set pi uh, parity. Okay. Uh, just leave it as default okay and you will see i try to open the connection here in order to read write and uh, check if the open is successful or you know, or not okay if success i try to uh, link the signal uh, ready read with the slot this this one but um <coughs> actually i or i change the name a little bit okay so i have to copy this name to this okay and now um you have to make sure that uh, in the deconstructor here is a method that will be, uh, that will be called uh, whenever your application uh, have been closed okay so you have to make sure that before your application will close you have to code your serial ports as well and now i will copy the last one Okay, the last one is a code to um, lead the data. Oh, sorry, this is still not the last one. Okay, there is still uh, another another one for sending data. But okay, this one for um, sorry, this one this one for sending data, not not reading data. Okay, I have to copy here. Yes, code for sending data from Raspberry Pi to the serial port i just send uh, my website world web code mobiles.com okay and clear some uh, message in the rebel okay and now i will copy the last one the last one is here here's a code to um, retrieve the input data that my raspberry pi uh, received from another computer uh, through uh, the serial port Okay, and you will see that I try to list and set in the by array and show in the label here. Okay, now I will stop and run. Okay, let's see uh, the result. 
I will clear the console first. Um, <clears throat> when it okay, there is some error. Okay, I have to add uh, the encode for QDebug. Okay, try again. Okay, um, when it, now when running it finish. Okay, you have to uh, check if there is a message uh, like a serial is open or not. Okay, if you don't see this message, it's possible that uh, you cannot open the serial port. Uh, maybe because you put the long name. Maybe because uh, your serial port is busy because you are uh, you still open another uh, application that using the serial port okay anyway you have to uh, you should see this message okay um now i will test this okay um now i use my uh, now i use uh, my max os and remote to my raspberry pi uh, so in my max os i will uh, use um some uh, terminal okay here is terminal okay uh, actually I, I I think I use the GUI it should be better okay for this view um I will open I will use the Arduino IDE and uh, before you connect to your serial port uh, you have to uh, check if there is this port or not okay the port name um, is might not uh, same uh, like this okay it depends on uh, your uh, hardware but for me uh, it must be this name okay click here to open your serial make sure that you set the bowlet here uh, as same add um, uh, to the uh, raspberry pi uh, on it okay uh, i will send some message i love code mobile and uh, i will send chip okay and check the result okay okay you will see that and the message is sent here i love course mobile that your message is here now okay i will send another message one two three four okay and now i will send back you see that i can send some data for my library pi here when i send it will clear this message as well so um, so you don't have to uh Confuse um the mess why the message is uh is lost because um, my logic just uh empty the message just clear the message here okay and that's this that is how to um connect the serial port communication i eight two three two uh on qt gui okay um I hope this video help you know, will help you all to understand and okay thank you for your attention bye bye.